and then we'll be led in praise and worship by our First Lady in that order. Will we stand for the reading of God's Word? I'll be reading from Isaiah 55, verses 6 through 11. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where, where to I sent it. I have read Isaiah 55, verses 6 through 11. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us look to the hills from which cometh our help. For our help cometh from the Lord who maketh heaven. And uh, Father God, we thank you today, God. We thank you this morning, God. We thank you for this very hour, God, for this very moment, God, that we have to come into your house of worship, oh God. God, we thank you for your grace that's sufficient, oh God. We thank you for your mercies that were brand new today, oh God. God, we thank you that you gave us strength this morning, oh God, that you allowed us to get here safely, oh God. God, we thank you, hallelujah, for providing for us, God. We thank you for your mighty hand of protection, hallelujah. God, we thank you for just being God all by yourself, oh God. We thank you that you sit high, oh God, but you look low, hallelujah. We thank you that you are Emmanuel, oh God, for you are yet with us, oh God. For while we're here, God, you are with us, God. As we travel, God, you are with us. For those who are in their homes, God, you are with us, God. And we thank you today, God. Oh, God, we ask, hallelujah, if there's anything that we've done, oh, God, if there's anything that we've said, oh, God, that did not line up with your word, oh, God, God, we repent today, oh, God. God, we ask that you would forgive us, oh, God. If there's anything that we've done against you, oh, God, if we've done it against ourselves, oh, God, if we've done it against our brothers and our sisters, oh, God, God, we are apologize today, oh God, for we want to be right with you, oh God. Oh God, we thank you, hallelujah, that you said in your word, oh God, that if we confess our sins, God, that you are faithful, hallelujah, and you will cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So God, in our right standing with you, oh God, God, we ask you today, oh God, that you would meet us here, oh God. No matter of fact, God, you're already here, God. So we thank you for your presence, oh God. We thank you for your presence, oh God. And God, we ask, oh God, that you will move to suit yourself, oh God. We come again to anything in this atmosphere, oh God, that does not line up with your service, God. That does not line up with our worship, oh God. That does not line up with how we praise you, oh God. God, we bind it in the name of Jesus. We bind it in the name of Jesus. Oh, let this atmosphere be conducive, hallelujah, for your worship, oh God. Let this atmosphere be conducive, hallelujah, for the word that shall come forth, oh God. God, we thank you, hallelujah. We thank you, hallelujah. We thank you, hallelujah, for our leaders, oh God. God, we ask, oh God, that you accept our worship, God, that you would accept our praise, God. But we don't want to do it in the midst, oh God. But we want to lift you up today, God. We want to lift you up in this house, oh God. God, we came today to magnify your name, hallelujah. We came today, hallelujah, to give you the glory that you deserve, God. For you have earned it, oh God. You've been better than good 
to us, God. You have earned it, oh God. Oh God, you've been more than enough, oh God. God, you have allowed us, God, to be blessed all week long, oh God. We made it back another Sunday, God. And as we entered your house, oh God, we came with thanksgiving, oh God. As we entered your house, oh God, our mouth was full of praise, oh God. Oh God, you are worthy of the praise, God. The glory and the honor, oh God. Oh God, be with our praise and worship, God. Be in our praise and worship, oh God. Let it be a pleasing sound, oh God, unto your ear, oh God. Let it be a sweet smelling savior, oh God, under your nose, oh God. Oh God, keep your hand on this ministry, God. Oh God, we ask for strength right now, hallelujah, to our leaders, hallelujah. God, don't let it be a pull, God, but ready the hearts and the minds, oh God, to receive what you have for us today. Oh God, touch our leader, hallelujah. God, use him like never before, God. Strengthen his body even right now, oh God, from the top of his head, oh God, to the soul of his feet, oh God. Oh God, you speak through him today, God. Oh, hold him up, oh God, in the name of Jesus, God. And we'll con continue to give you the thanks, God. We'll continue to give you the praise, God. We'll continue to say hallelujah. We'll continue to say thank you, Jesus. God, will clap our hands. God, will stomp our feet, hallelujah. We'll give you what you deserve today, hallelujah. God, you don't have to beg us for it. You don't have to beg us for it, God. You've been that good to us, God. And we give it to you today, oh God. We thank you, hallelujah. We praise you, God. That God, let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart, oh God, be acceptable in your sight, oh God. Oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer, hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Now let us read our statement of faith together in unison. It should be coming on your screen shortly. Let us read together. We believe in the Bible to be the inspired and only infallible written word of God. We believe there is one God, eternally existing in three persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We believe in the blessed hope, which is the rapture of the church of God, which is in Christ at his return. We believe that the only means of being cleansed from sin is through repentance, faith in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. We believe in the regeneration by the Holy Ghost is absolutely essential for personal salvation. We believe that the redemptive work of Christ on the cross provides healing for the human body in answer to believing prayer. We believe that the baptism of the Holy Ghost according to Acts 2 and 4, is given to believers who ask for it. We believe in the sanctifying power of the Holy Spirit, by whose indwelling the Christian is enabled to live a holy and separated life in this present world. Amen. Sister Betty Aiken is coming at this time to lead us in the hymn.
the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Come on, can we put our hands together for Jesus on this morning? Hallelujah. We're about to go into our praise and worship portion of the service where we all can play an amazing part in. Hallelujah. This is our opportunity to worship him, to praise him. Hallelujah. To lift him, to bow before him. Whatever you do, hallelujah, when you're in his presence, hallelujah, this is your opportunity, hallelujah, to worship him and to bless him, hallelujah, in the sanctuary. God, we thank you today in the mighty name of Jesus as we prepare our hearts and mind, Father God, to come, Lord God, before your presence on today, Lord God, lifting up songs of worship, oh God, songs of Zion on today, Father God. We ask that you would anoint us today, oh God, anoint the Levites, anoint the minstrels on today oh god in the name of jesus oh god lord prepare our minds and our hearts and our spirits oh god lord god for what you are getting ready to do lord god in this place on today oh god father we yield ourselves in your presence on today oh god and we ask oh god hallelujah that you would have your way in us on today have your way around us have your way in us in the name of jesus hallelujah because we know if you go before us, oh God, hallelujah. We know, Lord God, hallelujah, that you are capable, oh God, of doing great exploits, oh God, in the midst of us, oh God. So today we tell you thank you in advance, oh God, for moving by your power, for moving by your spirit, oh God, and for having your way, oh God, through worship in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on and bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We magnify your name, Holy Spirit. Bless thou the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. Bless thou the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul.
down just a little bit. I'm not in full voice today. I just need to bring it down just a little bit. Hallelujah. The song says, how great is our God. Hallelujah. How many know we serve a great and a mighty God? Hallelujah. How many know we serve a great and a mighty God? Hallelujah. He's great. He is the name above all names. Hallelujah. He is. Hallelujah. Our Savior. Come on and put your hands together. Hallelujah. All over the room on today. We magnify your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh. Great is our God. Yes, Lord, we magnify your name. Sing how great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. Oh, we'll see how great, great is our God. Can you help me sing that on this morning? Everybody sing.
he's great hallelujah come on and worship him if you know he's great hallelujah god we thank you today for being a great and mighty savior for there is nobody like you in all of the earth hallelujah the song says i'll praise you lord with all my soul with all my soul hallelujah i'll praise you lord i'll praise you with my mouth i'll praise you with my life lord god every single thing i do god i want to make sure that you get the glory hallelujah because there's nobody like you lord i'll praise you lord god hallelujah i lift my worship lord hallelujah i lift my worship today oh god hallelujah because there's nobody like our savior yes lord hallelujah i'll praise you lord with all my soul with all my soul i'll praise you lord i'll praise with my mouth i'll praise with my life everything i do i'll praise the lord i'll praise you lord with all my soul with all my soul i'll praise you lord i'll praise with my mouth i praise with my life everything Praise. Come on, help me say that. I'll praise you, Lord, with all my soul, with all my soul. I'll praise you, Lord. I'll praise you with my mouth. I'll praise you with my life. Everything I do. I'll praise you, Lord. I'll praise you, Lord. With all of my soul. With all of my soul, Jesus. I'll lift you up. By your name, I praise you, Lord. Everything I do, come on, let's say that again. I praise you, Lord. With all my soul, with all my soul, yes, Lord. I praise you, Lord. I praise you with my mouth, and I praise you with my life. Everything I do.
you to you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 spirit of the living God, hallelujah, fall fresh in this place, spirit of the living God, hallelujah, have your way in this place, hallelujah, I bind the adversary, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, I come up against anything that's not like you, God, hallelujah, hallelujah, I bind every spirit that's not like you, God, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, God, I ask now, Lord God, that you would sit upon the atmosphere, hallelujah, that you would move in the atmosphere, God, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, that you would fall fresh upon us today, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we can't do anything without you. We can't move without you. We can't sing without you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We can't operate without you on today, oh God. Hallelujah. So, Father God, we lean on you today for strength. We call upon your name. Hallelujah, which is the name above every name. Hallelujah. We call upon the name which is higher than we are, God. We call upon your majesty. We call upon our king today. We call upon our Father today. We call upon the Most High Priest today. God, we need you now, God. We need you to come into the room, God, and shift this atmosphere, Lord God. Shift this atmosphere today, oh God. Move by your power. 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 In the name of Jesus, I break, oh God, every curse, every demon, every spirit in this atmosphere. In the name of Jesus, I even bind up, oh God, the residue in the atmosphere, oh God, that is trying to consume it, God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Lord, I thank you now, God, for your blood for your grace oh god hallelujah thank you for your keeping power thank you in the mighty name of jesus lord we thank you now we need you lord we need you lord we need you lord we need you lord in the name of jesus yes Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How dare we come in his house and not give him glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When he says, I am bigger than anything and than any problem, than any circumstance. Hallelujah. That you could ever face. Hallelujah. God says, I am bigger and I am yet on the throne. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am the king of glory. I am the king of glory. I am the king of glory. In the name of Jesus. So today we'll open up our mouth, hallelujah, and we will yield under the authority of a king on today, hallelujah, our priest, our father, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, let your weight of glory, oh God, be revealed in this place, oh God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we bless your name. 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 In the name of Jesus, God, we yield. We yield. We yield. We yield. Lord, we yield. Lord, we yield. Lord, we yield. In your presence. Lord, we yield. Yes, Lord. Have your way. 
Lord, we yield. We yield in your presence. Lord, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. In this place, Lord, we yield. Lord, we yield. Lord, we yield. In your presence, Lord, we yield. We yield. We yield. Your authority, Lord, we yield. We yield. We yield in your presence. Lord, have your way. Do whatever you desire to do. Just have your way. In this place on today, oh, we yield. Holy Spirit, we yield. Holy Spirit, we yield. In your presence, Lord, have your way. Do what you desire to do. Whatever you do, Lord. We want you to have your way, Lord, we yield, yield in your presence, Lord, we yield under your authority, Holy Spirit, we yield, have your way, have your way, Jesus, have Yeah, but... 
by your spirit, Lord. Have your way today, Lord. Whatever you choose to do. God, I have done. 
done it and I have tried in my way long enough. But today I yield under your authority, God. And whatever, whatever, whatever your will is for my life, Lord, I agree with your will. See, some of us don't want to say that. Some of us don't want to say that because we still want to have control. Hallelujah. We still want to be in control. Hallelujah. And we don't want to submit ourselves to God. Hallelujah. Because we want to continue to hold on to the things of the past. We don't want to let some things go. Hallelujah. And we know, hallelujah, that it is hindering our progress. We know that it is hindering our growth. Hallelujah. Come on down. Break it down. Break it down. Break it down. Bring it down. Hallelujah. We know that some of these things are hindering our growth yes, and our progress. Hallelujah. hallelujah. So when we come in here, hallelujah, yes. we come in here with so much baggage. Yes. We walk in here with so much weight upon our shoulders. Yes. We're carrying so much. Hallelujah. So much is going back at home, going on back at home. So much is taking place on the job. So much is going on in your family life and in your private life. Hallelujah. And sometimes, hallelujah, we find ourselves in a place to where we don't want to trust God with, where, with what he's trying to do in our lives. We just want to continue to hold on to the baggage. We want to keep it. Hallelujah. We want to lay some things aside and then we want to continue to pick up the other baggage. Hallelujah. We don't want to release some things. But I hear the spirit of the Lord saying today, hallelujah, to trust me, to yield to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you would yield and trust me with the will for your life. Hallelujah. I would show you. Hallelujah. I would create a path for you to go into. Hallelujah. So that you won't continue making the same mistakes that you've been making over and over and over again but today God wants us to yield under his authority he wants us to submit to his will for our lives we've done it our way far too long enough God wants us hallelujah to submit ourselves unto him can we do that? Can we submit ourselves to God today? Hallelujah. Can we simply say, God, I don't understand it. I don't understand why I'm in it. I don't understand why I'm going through it. I don't understand why me. Hallelujah. Why not you? You have been called for such a time as this think it not strange for what you have been going through think it not strange of the trials that you have been encountering if God didn't think you were capable enough of handling hallelujah he said I would place no more on you than you can bear so although you might be going through some hard times right now Hallelujah, because God knows you. You are his child. And if you could not bear it, trust me, he would not put it on you. So I speak to you today. I encourage you on today. Hallelujah. Man, woman, boy, girl. Hallelujah. Submit under the authority of your father. Because he knows what's best for you. He knows your future. He knows every plan. He said for know the plans that I have for you and the plans are for you to prosper the plans are not for you to die the plans are not for you to be sick the plans are not for you not to prosper but I hallelujah I know the plans that I have for your life and the plans are for you to be great the plans are for you to excel the plans are for you to grow the plans are for you to do what he has called on to do so if you would posture yourselves on this morning let it go free yourself today God says I want to free you I want to heal you I want to bless you want to do all these things that you need for me to do 
But will you yield under my authority? Will you trust me to be God? Will you trust me to be ruler and king over your life? Will you trust him today? We yield under his authority today. Can we just quiet the noise? Just stop the noise. Hey, Shande Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God knows where each and every one of you are in this very moment. He's not deaf. Hallelujah. He's not blind. He knows everything about you. He knows everything concerning you. There's no need to waller in pity any longer. There is no need, hallelujah, to continue to... Hey, yes, right. Let him fall upon you. The Holy Spirit comes to heal. He comes to correct. He comes to free. He comes to deliver. He already knows what you're in need of. And because he already knows what you are standing in need of, why waller in it? Why not worship him through it? Why not praise him through it? Hasn't, haven't he delivered you from some things? Haven't we all been in a place to where we didn't think we were going to survive where we were? But didn't God bring us through it? Don't you know that every storm doesn't come, hallelujah, it doesn't come to take you out of here? Sometimes the storm just comes to, 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 to allow you to grow. Sometimes the storm comes to increase your faith, to build your faith in God. It's not to harm you. It's not that you have done anything wrong. It's not because of the past mistakes that you have done. God is not punishing you. God loves you. And I don't care who, and I don't even know who has told you otherwise. God is not here to punish you. He's not upset with you. He loves you. You're not where you are. You're not going through what you're going through because of something that you have done. You are going through because God is doing something in your life. And if you would trust him with your life, if you would trust him through the trial, trust him through your circumstances, trust him through the opposition, hallelujah, you are not going through for yourself. I need every person under the sound of my voice to hear what I am saying to you on today hear what the spirit of the lord is saying unto you today you are not going through for yourself sometimes we going through for others and we don't even know why sometimes times we're facing the opposition and we're facing the trials and we're going through so much pain and so much so much so many situations hallelujah and sometimes they seem unbearable and sometimes it's like god what i thought we were i thought i was in a good place I mean, I've submitted myself. I'm, I'm, I'm doing everything that I, that you've called me to do. I'm praying. I'm seeking you, God. I'm fasting, Lord God. I'm doing everything in my power, Lord. Why am I, why am I in this place? Why are you always finding me? Hallelujah! To pray, you put the pressure on me so much. Anybody ever feel like that? Like, like, like the pressure, like, like it's going, like you're going to bust. You just feel like you, you're about to burst at any moment. In those moments is where we have to learn how to trust God. We got to come outside of our mind and what we feel like and what we're going through. Because let me tell you something. You don't know why you're in that place, number one. You don't know why you're going through what you're going through. It may not specifically be for you, but it could be for someone that's connected to you. That's why it's imperative that we don't waller in the situation. We don't waller in the trial. We don't become defeated. We don't become just nursing situation and, and walking around slump, walking around defeated, walking around like, no, 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 no. And God says, our trials come to make us strong. 
Your trials don't come to make you weak. I've never, I've never gone through a trial and I've come out weak. Hello, somebody. But they're to make you strong. They're to build your faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see it in here. I'm not, I'm not dumbfounded. I have discernment. And the spirit of the Lord rests upon me heavy. I can see it and I can feel the weight in here. But God wants to free you today, saints. If you would allow him. No. He's not going to force himself on you. If you want to be free, God is in this place today and he can do it instantly. He can do it swiftly. Whatever you need him to do. We're so, our minds are so conditioned. We're so used to just custom ways. We just felt, just know the program. We just know everything. We just, everything has been downloaded. It's been in our mind for so many years. I said, my, my altar is, you don't have to wait for an altar call. I'm already here. I'm, all, I'm the altar call. When you call on me, you call, I'm, I'm the altar call. You're calling on my name. You can call on me in the pew and I'll show up. But we're not calling on him because we're wanting, we're coming in here and we're taking up space, sitting in here. I'm just going to come here because I have no peace in my house, but I'm going to just come here and sit on the pew. I'm not going to move. I'm not going to praise God. I'm not going to worship. I'm not going to pray. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do anything that is asked of me to do. I'm just going to come in here and waller in regret. I'm just going to come in here and waller in pity. How can we do that when God has been so good to us? Amen. Amen. I believe he deserves better than that. Amen. He deserves so much better than what we give him. I'm, you know, I, I, I was finna say I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Because he deserves so much more than what we give him. A year ago, when some of y'all thought y'all was going to die, you thought it. You didn't know, you didn't know what, your, what, what, your, what was going to be uh, the future for, for, for your lives. You thought you were going to die. Everybody was praying. Everybody was seeking him. Everybody was crying out. Y'all better stop playing with God. He, he already knows. I don't know. Why, why do we do that? Why do we, why, why do we, why we try to play on God's intelligence? And he already knows us. If we are going to live out this thing, we got to do it in spirit and in truth. There are no gray areas in this walk. You're either on his side or you're on his side. Choose ye this day whom you will serve. I cannot say it no more than I've already said it. But there is something on the way. Something on the way bigger than COVID. Y'all better hear what I'm telling y'all. Hear what the Spirit is saying. Choose ye this day. Stop playing with your soul. Stop playing with God. Old things are passed away. Behold, everything must become new. You must become a new creature in him. You must yield under his authority. Choose ye this day whom you are going to serve. Nothing else matters. The gospel has already been reached, it has reached the end of the earth. 
the gospel has been preached. There's nothing, I don't care who comes up here and preach. It doesn't matter. It's already, you have heard enough word to last you throughout eternity. We all have. But we haven't applied, we're not applying it. Some of you still don't trust God. God wants your heart. He wants all of you, not pieces of you. Choose ye this day. It's time for us to get our lives, get our houses in order. This is what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Time is at hand. This next thing that is coming, there is getting ready to be a great falling away. Y'all thought y'all seen something. You haven't seen anything. That's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. Hear what I'm telling you. Get your house in order. And I'm just not talking about the shelter, your, 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 the house that you're getting ready to go back home into. Get your temple in order. Get your mind right. Get your heart right. Get your spirit right. Get it right with God. Because we're getting ready to go through some turbulent times. You thought they were turbulent before. Nothing can compare to what's to come. When we come into this house, give God everything you have. Don't come in here and just take up space and just sit down as if you don't know where you are. We're not having lazy church. We're on assignment in this season and in this hour. Because when God sin, people are gonna be running in here looking, they're, they're, gonna be, they're gonna be hopeless. We need to be equipped for what's to come. We need to be positioned for what's to come. We cannot get distracted in this season, saints. We cannot get distracted in this season. Don't let the world just push you into being so anxious to get back to the no ain't nothing normal anymore it's not normal nothing will ever be normal again be anxious for nothing stay on the wall do whatever you need to do but stay on the wall hallelujah because we gonna need a savior like never before for what's getting ready to come and if we don't know who he is for ourselves, you may not be able to reach out to pastor. There's going to come a day in time you won't even be able to reach him. You won't even be able to reach me. You won't even be able to reach the saints. That's why it's imperative that you know who God is for yourself. Know who he is for yourself, people of God. In spirit and in truth, live for him. Give him everything that you have. Come on, we're resting to our feet. Whatever you need is in the room on today. Stop wallowing in pity. God says, I already died for what you're going through. Over 2,000 years ago, I already paid the penalty. I paid the price for you. Why are you wallowing in it? You're either going to trust me with your life or you're not. You're either going to trust and believe that I'm well capable enough to bring you out of the storm or you're not. You're either going to praise me or you're not. God wants our hearts. And right here in this moment, I need for y'all to send up Judah in the room. Open up your mouth and just begin to pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Come on, allow him to meet you right where you are. Right where you are. Right where you are. Lord, I need you. 
Lord, I want more of you. God, I want a deeper relationship with you, but I don't know how to have one. If you go to him, if you talk to him, he'll show you how. Hallelujah. Just talk to him like you're talking to your girlfriend. Like you're talking to your husband, like you're talking to your, 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 your spouse. Just talk to him. He wants to hear from you. God, we thank you today for your presence. We thank you today, Lord God, for speaking to our hearts. We thank you for a reminder today. We thank you for the nudge that you have given us today, Father God. Father, help us, Lord God, to continue to yield our hearts to you, O oh God. Help us, Lord God, build our faith, O oh God, in our trust in you. Heavenly Father, build our faith in you, Lord God. Lord God, to let us know, Lord God, that you, Lord God, you know everything concerning us. And that you are going to lead and guide us, Lord God, in our journey, oh God. Father, I thank you today in the mighty name of Jesus that you are comforting every person under the sound of my voice. That you are healing, that you are delivering, that you are freeing all of your people on today, oh God. Father, I pray now, Lord God, that your spirit would rest, oh God, heavy in this place on today, oh God. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Lord God, that the people of God, oh God, will continue to cry out, Lord God. Cry out in your presence, oh God. Cry out, Lord God, hallelujah, on the wall, Father God. In the time of need, in their time of need, oh God, that they'll continue to seek your face that they'll continue to trust you where they cannot trace you, Lord God. Father, I pray, Lord God, that you would build their faith, increase their faith, oh God. I pray, Lord God, that you would strengthen them, oh God. I pray that the saints of God will not become weary in this hour. I pray, Lord God, that the saints of God, Lord God, hallelujah, Lord, don't become restless, God, that they don't become weary, oh God, that they don't become wore out, oh God. But I pray, Lord God, that you would strengthen them, oh God, for the journey, Lord God, that is ahead of them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you today. I thank you today for having your way in this place. Father God, we ask now, Lord God, that you would just continue, Lord God, to nudge us in the times, oh God, when we feel like giving up, oh God. Nudge us and encourage us, oh God. Reassure us, hallelujah, that you yet are holding our hand, God. That you yet know where we are, God. And that you are yet concerned about your children. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you today. I thank you today. I thank you today for touching every mind, every heart, every spirit. Every man, woman, boy, and girl in this place on today. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on and put your hands together all over the sanctuary. Come on and bless the name of Jesus all over the sanctuary. Come on and bless him. Come on and bless him. Hallelujah. Come on and bless him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We give him glory. Our pastor is in the house on today and he is coming and as he's making his way to take us further in our worship service hallelujah come on we want to give god what's to come on and put your blessed hands together for our leader and our pastor pastor john david white Everybody feel the presence of the Lord in this house. Hallelujah. Just look at somebody before you sit down and tell them I am a survivor. You ain't said it. Look at them and tell them I am a survivor. Be seated. Be seated. I am a survivor. 
survivor. If you're a survivor, that just means, I mean, it's sufficient that you survived what happened and you'll survive what's to come. Anybody believe that? That no weapon formed against you shall prosper. We're moving right along. All the glory and the honor, the praises all day. It belongs to, to God. It belongs to, to God. It belongs to God. All of the glory and the honor and the praise all day. It belongs to, to God. Yes, Lord. We want all of the tithers to get your tithes together now. That's how the church supports itself. Amen. All the tithers are coming. If you need an envelope, slip your hand up and they'll service you with that. It belongs to, to God. It belongs to God. It belongs. Come on, our tithers are coming into the center, Al. All the glory to praise Deacon JT, bless you. Bless you. Sister Rosalie, you can put that on my desk, what he has. Come on, all the time. If you're watching online, you can use our online methods. Amen. We thank God for the faithful supporters of this ministry. Amen. We have Cash App. It's on the screens. We have Zelle. You have that information. I'll give it to you. Dollar sign, New Grace tab is our Cash App. PastorDave14 at gmail.com is our Zelle. And the website, you can go to the website, www.gracetabernacle.info. Do you ever ask yourself, how does the church stay open? How does the bills stay paid, even in a pandemic? Do you ever ask yourself? It's because of faithful supporters, faithful tithers. Amen. The Bible decrees, and the Bible says, and if you're not a tither, you're cursed with a curse. They so bring all the tithe into this storehouse. Amen. Good to see you, Sister Donna. Is that you? Yeah, that's you. Amen. That's Mother Moore's daughter, y'all. Bless her. It belongs to God. It belongs to God. If you are a tither and you did online or this ain't your week, come on, I want you to stand anyway so we can recognize you as a faithful supporter of the ministry. Come on, hold that tithe up in your right hand, however you're giving. God, we thank you for our job. Thank you for all that you blessed us with so far. We're so excited about what you've done, but we're even more excited about what you're getting ready to do. You're getting ready to pour us out blessings that we don't have room enough to receive. You're getting ready to give us blessings, God, that's going to blow our mind. Do it. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody shout, here I go. Trust in God again. Come on, bring your time and say, I'm blessed. Bless you, Mr. 
Janet. Of our musicians, amen. Elder Aiken, Prophet Dede, Apostle Evan, and Minister Jai. <laughs> amen. Anybody glad to be in the house of the Lord? I need you to help me with this. Just holler this. Say, I'm smiling behind my mask. Hallelujah. That, that makes me feel better. That makes me feel better. Amen. Very quickly, the choir is getting ready to come. But um, I need one of my deacons or somebody that's back there. Uh, Deacon Henry, there's some pampers and something in Rochelle's office. You're going to see two boxes, pampers and wipes. Just bring them up in here. Amen. We thank God for those that were able to help with this endeavor. Some people do things in silence and they don't need to be, they don't want to be recognized openly. Am I right about it? Amen. Come on, Sister Nicole, we got something for you and them twin babies you got. You can come right down the center aisle, D. Come on down the center aisle. You ain't got to walk all around there. Thank God for Deacon Bernard. Come on, Sister Nicole, with me. I wish I had a camera person. But yeah, this is what we, we are donating these pampers and wipes to you for your twin boys. Amen. God bless you. Go ahead and take those. Amen. She just had twin baby boys, y'all. Big boys. Amen. And we wanted to give that to you. And we thank you for those that put that together. Amen. That's one of our new old members. Our old new members. Amen. She rededicated her membership. It's nice to be nice, ain't it? Somebody said, well, you ain't gave me no pampers, Pastor. You ain't had a baby in a long time. Have a baby. You have twins and you next. Anybody else want to have twins? Where you at? Raise your hand. Sister Fisher got a hand up, Minister Fisher. You want twins too? All right, all right. Don't play with it. We'll release it in the atmosphere. Hell! Put your hand down. Matter of fact, everybody on that side better duck. Cause it's coming. Man, some of you. <laughs> Come on, the choir is coming. A portion of the Grace Tabernacle Ensemble is coming. Amen. Somebody teach me how to say choir in Spanish, just in case the folks didn't understand what I said. What is it? El Corioso. The El Corioso is coming. Y'all teach how, how you say it in, in German. Vigonyokos Quayos. I just want everybody to hear me. Sometimes you don't know what language people speak. Please stand in front of a mic, not behind one. Let's do that. Amen. 
Help us out with the mics, Dee. Help, help me out with the mics. We got seven mics down there. We thank God for First Lady Wright, what you need. Allowing the Lord to use her on this Sunday morning. Anybody know the blood still works? I said, does anybody know the blood still works? Come on, we want to utilize all our microphones. No! 
The blessed word. 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 Clap your hand if you know it still works. The blood still works. Not only does it still work, but it never lose its power. I wish I had some real sanctified folks that knew about the blood. Anybody know it was the blood that saved you? Oh, the blood that gives me strength from day Oh, today it will never lose its, its power. Oh, it reaches to the highest mountain. Oh, and it flows to the lowest, lowest valley. Oh, the blood that gives me strength from day oh, to day. I wish I had somebody that knew about it. It will never, never, never lose, never lose its power. Yes, God. Come on, we're standing as we go to the word of God. I'm not going to be before you long. The hour is far spent. I'm going to preach for maybe 12 minutes. But... What I want you to do is get with the word at minute number one. Sometimes we wait. Let's wait till the close and give them 30 minutes and I'm going to say amen. No, no. Get with the word immediately. Amen. Hallelujah. The presence of the Lord is in this place. Hallelujah. Just one passage of scripture, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. The New Living Translation. Good to see you, Terrell. Good to see you. Amen. If you don't have your Bible, it's on the screens. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old is gone. A new life has begun. I'm going to read it again for the folks that didn't quite get that. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone. A new life. Somebody say new life has begun. My subject today, look at somebody and just tell them they thought they knew you. Thank you, Dr. Chris Burton. They thought they knew you.
they really thought they knew you. That's somebody getting with the word from the beginning. They thought they knew you. We are constantly evolving, especially as people of God. And, and, and when we're being led by the Spirit, you cannot stay the same. And we grow spiritually, we grow physically, we grow mentally, and we grow in the Word. And some folks, Minister Fisher, they can't stick with you or stick around you because you're constantly evolving. Lord, help me today, because I promise you, this is, I'm halfway through already. And, and if they don't have the capacity to understand that you're going to higher heights, you got to let them go. We, as people, we tend to keep people around us because we're comfortable with them, even though God evolves us. Don't you know that some of the folks that were around you years ago stayed the same? You ain't got no business staying around them. Lord have mercy. That's why you can't have the same friends. Oh Lord. That's when God, when God is building you up and God is enlarging your territory, you can't keep the same friends. That's why you can't get involved with some cliques. Because after a while, you outgrow the clique. Lord have mercy. Sooner or later, when there's a calling on your life, you will evolve and you won't be the same person that they knew. Look at somebody say, they thought they knew you. Woo! That's why some of us really can't get involved with a lot of people because I, I, can't, I can't understand for the life of me, Deacon Parker, how some folks can be in church and be in God so long and be the same for 25 years. Not one ounce of growth. You still quoting the same, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall now. Ain't learned another scripture yet. God is trying to evolve you, but you got a reputation to keep. The Bible declares that if any man be in Christ, he is what? A new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. So when all things become new, don't be surprised when you're no longer comfortable around old self. Don't you dare let people box you in to a friendship that you outgrew. Lord have mercy. Don't you dare let people box you into a relationship that you outgrew. Don't you dare let people box you into a job that you outgrew. We are constantly evolving. I'm not the same I was two years ago. And let me tell you something. If this pandemic ain't evolved you a little bit, if you, it's no way in the world you go into the pandemic and come out the same way. If you did, then you dumb, stupid, and retarded. Yes, I said it. I sure enough said it. Because after all we've been through, after all the trials and, trials and tribulations come to make you what? Stronger. How in the world you went through all that and you come through the same way? So since we evolved, we shouldn't be looking for things to be the same. Oh Lord. They thought they knew you. And especially, you see, can I talk about church folks for a minute? I've been in church for 45 years and I'm 43 years old so I know something about church folks. Church folks will look at you when God starts blessing you and start saying you acting different. You changing up. That is a slap in the face of God. You know why? Because if God is evolving us 
shouldn't we be different? Shouldn't we change? Is there anybody here that's the same way you were when you first came to Christ? So when people come to you and say, oh, you acting brand new, they mean it as a negative. But you need to take it as a positive because they the same old way and they expecting you to be the same. But God has been too good. God has poured too much in me for me to stay the same. The scariest thing I ever seen when I walk in the streets, when I take the bus, I was so scared when I saw birds walking. Some of y'all gonna get that. Because if I was a bird and I got the ability to fly, I'll never walk again. Some of y'all gonna catch that a little later. Because God, let me, let me bring it to you so you can get it on the kindergarten level. God has given you the ability to fly, but you want to be around walkers. So you dummy down yourself. Stop dummying down who God has made you to make other people comfortable. Lord, I'm preaching better than y'all saying amen. Y'all hear me online? Stop dummying down your anointing so people can feel comfortable around you. Let me preach to the 50 folks that are watching on Facebook Live. Because some of us are anointed, but we don't want to express our anointing. We don't want to express how big we are in God because we don't want to make the people around us make we think we acting funny on them. But you got to learn to surround yourself with people who are comfortable with you constantly evolving. Get away from folks that want you to stay the same. Oh, I'm not preaching to y'all. I'm preaching to them. Get away from the folks that want you to stay the same. They want to box you in. They want to put you under their thumb. The devil is a liar. God has made you a giant. God has made you great. And you cannot stay. I'm not preaching to y'all. I'm preaching to them. You cannot stay the same. They thought they knew you because they got comfortable. But God is getting ready to enlarge your territory. If you believe it, type amen in the comments. Oh, I'm not preaching to y'all. Y'all not receiving it. It's for them. And the biggest problem is when God is trying to evolve you and enlarge your territory, but you suppress what God is trying to do. You dummy down your intelligence. You ever been in a conversation with folks and you knew the answer, but you didn't want to say nothing? What is that? You you around folks and, and you you know you, look I, I know I know I know the answer I know the I know what's about to happen but I don't want to say nothing because I don't want them to think I got a takeover spirit or I don't want them to think I'm all this and think I'm all that so I'll just keep my mouth shut suppressing what God has made you hear me and hear me good. No longer do you have to suppress who you are in God. I'm learning this more and more as God is evolving me. Whoever don't like it got to get used to it because I ain't going back. The Bible says I'm a new creature. New life has begun. Any man be in Christ, you have a new life. Old things are passed away. And I, I, I love it when folks bring up all my old stuff. I love it. Matter of fact, I'm going to start telling some stuff they didn't know so they can bring that up. I love it because it lets me further know how far I've come. Don't you let, let me talk to y'all. Lisa, don't you love when they bring up your old stuff and they try to hold over your head, but you ain't in that mess no more? Y'all ain't going to put me out here like I'm the only one that got old stuff. Who else? Sister Geneva White, don't you like when they bring up what you used to be and it's way behind you and you ain't in that no more? 
See, we, we act like we ain't never been in there. I'm going to call everybody name today. Hallelujah. Deacon Parker, don't you like when they bring up what you used to be in, but you ain't in that mess no more, and it lets you know how far you come. Who else is perfect? Who else? Where you at? Wave your hand. I'm going to call you. Don't you mess with me today. Because when I tell you they thought they knew you, they, people are offended by your growth. Oh. Oh. But I bind that spirit right now. I bind that spirit of offense because somebody outgrew you. Even if they outgrew you, celebrate them. You ever been in a relationship and you outgrew the person? Oh boy, I better leave that. Because the danger, God have mercy, is making a lifetime commitment with somebody who can't handle your evolution. Making a lifetime commitment with somebody who can't handle you evolving. Oh Lord, I wish I had a, a, a singles class, right? You, you can't get with somebody for where you are now. God have mercy. You gotta get with somebody that can match capacity. For where you're going. Some people have peaked at the age of 15. Shame on them. Some people have peaked already and they ain't but 21. But there's some of us that God is constantly turning and the wheels are constantly going. And that's why we're... Okay. Okay. So I asked myself, I said, God, what kind of people did you make? What's wrong with you, Lord? How do you make us? You talking about we're going to be changing all the time and we new creatures. We got new life. You make us look crazy to folks. If every six months God enlarged me and every six months I got a, I'm, I'm, I'm getting higher in anointing, you know, folks going to think I'm nuts. All of a sudden, I wasn't prophesying last year. Now I can prophesy. God gave me another gift. You see, God, you're going to make the folks think I'm losing my mind. But then I went to the book. He said, well, we are a peculiar people. So you know what, you know what peculiar means? You won't be understood all the time. Woo! People won't always understand you. And you got some people in your life right now trying their hardest to figure you out. And just when they figure you out, you done evolved again. Stop trying to figure folk out and just accept the God in them. Listen, you can keep trying to figure folks out all, all you want. When God tells the real child of God to evolve and, and he starts building, he, they ain't going to stay the same for you. Some folks are measuring you up right here in the church, trying to figure you out. People even at your job, let's get out the church, at your job, they're trying to figure you out. And some folks, don't let them get so close to figure you out. Oh God, Lord, let me close this thing. Just because you've been the same for 20 years, don't get mad at me. Amen? Because I, I truly feel, and First Lady tapped into it a little bit, that God is getting ready to start doing a quick work in people. There's things that are getting ready to happen that should take 10 years that will take one year. And people ain't gonna have time to figure you out. Get ready for your entire circle to change.
Does y'all help me? I'm new to church. Does clapping mean you receive it? Okay, good. I know. All right, I know. God is good all the time. Okay, that's what clapping. There we go. I just want to make sure I'm in the right place. Sometimes you know you, you don't know if you you in the uh, uh, social club church where we at. Because I, usually when a word like that goes forth, there should be a crazy praise, an outbreak of praise. Listen, get ready for your entire circle to change. Can I minister to about seven folks? You've been hanging around the wrong people for the past five years, and God is getting ready to remove you. Good God Almighty. He's getting ready to remove you from that it's going to hurt because your flesh is comfortable. Let me talk to you. It's going to hurt because your flesh loves them. It's going to hurt because you felt like they were your ride or dies. But they cannot mentally, they don't have the capability to be around you for where God is taking you. Ooh. And it's going to happen, it's going to happen whether you like it or not. Behold, I do a new thing in you. It will what? Spring fall. What's that, what's that bug that changed? It's from caterpillars. What the, caterpillars, what they turn into? They turn into them butterflies. I ain't never seen a butterfly turn back into a caterpillar. Anybody ever seen that? Only time I saw a butterfly come down out the air is when it was time to eat. And I looked at that thing, fish, and I, I'm, I'm not no scientific nerd. I'm a math, mathematician. But it don't seem like you got to open the shell of the caterpillar to let the butterfly out. The butterfly don't need no help from nobody else some of y'all gonna catch this you don't have to because sometimes with the eggs and chickens hatch sometimes they put that little thing out and you know it's time for it. you gotta crack it up and help them out you ain't gotta help a butterfly out of a caterpillar cocoon because when it's ready good god I wish I had a church that would go with me right here Donna when it's ready ain't nothing gonna stop it it's going to bust out and it's going to start, it's going to be more beautiful than it was. And it went from the ground to the air. You don't have to go to butterfly school to learn how to fly. All of that stuff is happening while you a caterpillar. All of that stuff is molding you. Woo. Some of your evil family members are molding you for what you're getting ready to be. Some of your crazy situations that you're in are molding you for what you're getting ready to be. Nobody goes through one way and comes out the same. Constantly evolving. Everybody's standing. I got... Can I tell y'all about one of my best friends? His name is Job. He's in the Bible. Job, if you look at the story of Job, it looked like he could not get any better. When things were good, the Bible says, God even said, he's an upright man. Perfect in all his ways. He's blessed. He got houses, cattle, land, money, family. It seemed like he couldn't do no better. How much better could he have done? He was doing good. So much good that the devil got jealous of him. He said, if you move the head, I'll make him do all. Y'all know the story. But Job went through a horrible trial. He knew he was coming out. But when Job came out, 
if he would have came out with just what he went in with, he would have been good. But God got the sense enough to not let him come out with what he went in with. But I wish I had a Bible reader. He came out with double. Double for somebody that's already good. They thought they knew you. But can I tell about five folks? It's not for everybody. How many folks forget the pandemic? Before the pandemic, you was in a trial. You were already going through something. Pandemic just put icing on the doggone cake. Like, God, I'm already going through now. This? Where you at? When you come out, ooh, this has been a caterpillar experience for us. When you come out, I decree and declare for about 20 folks that will holler as loud as you can. You coming out with double. I can pray it right now. All things are passed away. Look at somebody and tell them everything is new now. Everything Everything is new A new attitude New friends New relationship New partnership New home New everything Yeah Come on, praise them for the new. Don't you worry about it. God is shifting you right now. I'll never be the same. So you ought to give them a new praise. Don't praise them like you used to praise them. But find a new way to holler. Find a new way to clap. Find a new way to dance. Oh, glory. Somebody give them glory. Hey. Good God Almighty. Good God Almighty. Yeah. Go testify to somebody. Just fist bump them and tell them brand new, brand new, brand new. Touch them and tell them brand new. Brand new. The way things used to be. I can't go back to the people that used to be around me. I can't go back because I don't fit no more. But God has enlarged my territory and I'm walking in new favor. I'm walking in a new anointing. If you believe it, shout glory! Yes, Lord. 
Lift your hands all over the house. I'm releasing a double anointing, a double, to a double dose of favor right now in the name of Jesus over every hand that's lifted. God, whatever you were getting ready to do, double it up. God, whatever you were getting ready to do, do double now. If you were going to do one, do two. If you were going to do four, do eight. God, whatever you were going to do, I speak it now. A double increase in the name of Jesus. Double me up. Yes, Lord. Somebody receive it. In the name of Jesus. Somebody receive it. Give me double. A double portion of joy. A double portion of health. A double portion of anointing. A double portion of love. Yeah. Bless the Lord for double. They thought they knew you before you went into the trap. But you're coming out brand new. They don't recognize you because you're not the same. They don't recognize you because you don't talk the same. You don't walk the same. You don't look the same. But when I come out, I'm coming out as pure gold. Whole glory. I'm done. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Let's call the name of Jesus. Jesus. Heaven on Shara. Jesus. Now, son of David. Jesus. Will in the middle of the will. Jesus. All power in your hand. Jesus. Fall down. Let your glory fall. Double glory. Double anointing. Double favor. Double finances. Double portion. Give me double. I suffered for this. I've been through long enough. And they thought they knew me. But now, they don't even recognize me. Because I'm brand new. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature all things are passed away behold all things become new somebody shout I'm brand new clap your hand and give God praise Unless the Holy Ghost is still working on you. Anybody ready for your newness? Close your eyes real tight for about 10 seconds. I'm gonna count it down. 10, nine, eight, seven. By the time you open your eyes, you're gonna be new. Six, five, four, three, two, 
want spiritually open your eyes and thank God for the new way you see things. I want you to give them praise for everything that's brand new in your life right now. I know it don't look like it, but something changed. There's been a shift in your mind. Oh Lord Damn it I speak new days New days Without a surgery God gonna do it Hey Anybody need a new body You need new strength Get God praise for it Rosa Lee Brown, thank you because there's a prophetic word in your mouth and I want you to flow in it every time God gives you a word. I'm so sick of jealous folk because they ain't got no word. Every time God gives you a word, Rosa Lee, I need you to release it. Because some blessings and miracles don't come unless the prophet unleashes it. You better get used to me. Because I'm a, I gotta allow the Lord to have his way. Stop trying to figure me out. Somebody give them praise. Wait. 
his grip on all of them. you. I don't want you to do nothing but just lift your hand for about 10 seconds. I need everybody in here to point his way and say wealth come to him. Say it one more time. Wealth come to him. I decree by the end of this year, y'all don't even know him. I know him since he was younger that millions will be in his account by the end of this year. Yo, watch. Remember I told you. We moving. We moving. Now what you do Listen to me. I want y'all to hear me. We gotta stop lying to folks telling everybody gonna be a millionaire. Some of us ain't gonna be millionaires. But listen to me. Break it down a little bit. Y'all got to hear this. God, before the year is out, you will be connected to millionaires. Peter, there's going to be three people in your phone that you got on your phone log that's going to be millionaires that you'll be connected to. And when you're connected to millionaires, nothing is outside of your reach. You see, some of y'all trying to figure me out. God has me in another realm right now, y'all. I'm sorry. Because in this pandemic, I've been hearing more and more from God more and more and God is showing me wealth for the people of God but not everybody's going to be a millionaire that's a lie but if you receive this God is going to connect you with millionaires and it starts now with the evolving Woo. 
Hold the music, hold the music, because it, it, they got to get it, because some folk would dance through it and not receive it. There are some people you have to get away from. God is getting ready to surround you with people that have the capacity to bless you how God wants you to be blessed. Listen. I hope I could, I don't want nobody to take this live and put it somewhere and then I get in trouble with the churches. He ain't just going to connect you with saved folk. There's some connections coming from some folks that don't shout and dance. That don't speak in tongues. Can I tell you something? The wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. How the heck you gonna get it if you're not connected to them? That's why I wanted you to stop shouting so you can receive this. God is getting ready to put you in atmospheres. You'll be an atmosphere changer. And the wealth, some of us would have been there already, but we don't know how to evolve. We don't know how to evolve in different situations. We don't know how to embrace people who don't call on the name of Jesus. Here we go. Are you hearing me? Yeah. And the only way, Peter, not everybody at Mega Evans is saved and got the Holy Ghost. Not Your boss might not even be a Christian. But God, yeah, there you go. But God gave you favor with somebody that don't even call on Jesus. He said, I'll pour you, I'll bless you, you ain't got room enough to receive. Men will what? Pour into your bosom. And there is getting ready. If we can get our minds together and stop expecting millions to come from broke folk. We expecting wealth to come from broke people. But God is trying to evolve you. And some people, Deacon Henry, he got something for me back there. Some folks, you got to be cool letting go. And when God, it says your gift will make room for you and bring you before great men. It didn't say saved men. It said great men. And if you look at other versions, that great men is men of stature, men of wealth. So some of us, and, and we got to stop fooling our young people that are gifted and we try to lock them into the church. Oh. Because there's a gift in them that has to be around the wealthy, whether the wealthy are saved or not. And that's how the wealth of the wicked is transferred. There's a wealth transfer that's trying to happen, but church folk been blocking it. Cut the live off. Cut it off. Don't even worry about it. I know we got offering coming. Cut the live.